We're going to talk about Rutgers to open the show today. We've been sort of slow playing this because we didn't know when the right moment would be to talk about Rutgers. And there's a lot of momentum with this program right now. They are likely going to add the number one and the number two ranked recruit in the country. Rutgers is going to add the two best freshmen in the country. Unprecedented. Uh, Dylan Harper, Ace Bailey, for those of you that don't know, Ace Bailey is already signed to Rutgers. Dylan Harper is a heavy Rutgers lean, the brother of Ron Harper Jr., who is actively trolling Indiana right now in his recruit visits. We love both of them as players. Rutgers would certainly be really good in a year if they get those guys. But uh, they might be kind of good this year, too. That's what I want to talk about, because we got some numbers back from their overseas trip. And essentially, Rutgers is shooting a ton of threes. That's not normal for a Rutgers team. Gavin Griffiths, we talked about him briefly on the show yesterday. Five for ten from three in their most recent game overseas. Uh, He looks like he might potentially be a guy who leads Rutgers in scoring this year. You're a huge fan of Derek Simpson. We've talked about that before. But, man, if Rutgers is going to shoot 42 threes in a game uh, and Gavin Griffiths can get them 20 a night, I'm very in on this Rutgers program that all of a sudden has a higher upward trajectory than any team in this conference other than Michigan State right now. What is happening? Yeah, and the craziest part to me before you even start talking about like get Griffiths getting his 20 and he's got and them actually hitting threes at a high clip is that they're just playing this way. Like I didn't have a chance to go back last season and like go through game logs and things like that, but I'd be absolutely shocked if there were multiple games where they shot that many three pointers, to be honest with you. Um, And I think the shift to that is a good one for this team with the personnel that they have. And I, I just don't, I don't think they are being talked about enough just because of the losses they had. Obviously they lose Mulcahy, they lose McConnell, they lose Cam Spencer in devastating fashion. Like that, that three right there is something that could, you know, kill a program, but they still got Cliff. Griffiths is going to be one of the best freshmen in the conference, maybe shit, the way it's trending, he might be considered one of the best freshmen in the country production and impact wise. I don't think that's far, uh, too much of a stretch. Derek Simpson's really good. Andre Hyatt's played more college basketball than a lot of people in the college basketball world right now and, and can be productive if he's healthy. So they got something there. And then Pykele is just going to be Pykele. And Rutgers is always going to be Rutgers. It's going to be tough to play at Rutgers. Um so, yeah, it's, it's a team that you can't take lightly. I think they're going to be a lot better than people think. Um, and you can't take Rutgers lightly. And I feel like two months ago, you might have been like, okay, they lost all three of those people that I mentioned. Take them a little bit lightly. That, that That's not the case. Rutgers might be hashtag back. Or on their way back. Isn't it hashtag here? Don't they have to be here in order to be back? We said that with Nebraska. Remember we were in Lincoln? We were like, Nebraska might be back. And we're like, oh, wait a second. No, Nebraska might be here. Turns out Nebraska wasn't here. They got cake pops. But Rutgers might be here. Uh, I I have a little bit of a hot take on the Spencer Mulcahy departures cart. Could this be some addition by subtraction? Losing Not with Spencer. Not with Spencer. That duo? Not with Spencer to me. No chance. Mm-mm. No, I will. The only the only reason I said this is because I don't think that Mulcahy's game would fit into the had being able to shoot role that they that obviously they kind of had that approach this year. I think Cam Spencer would fit really really good. Like you have, let's say Simpson one, Spencer two, Griffiths three, Hyatt four, uh, Cliff Amarui five. I actually really like that starting five. Me too, but. Okay, have you seen the video of Cam Spencer's introduction in like the Yukon practice gym? Yes. And you want me to buy Cam Spencer stock? That's part of it. He can't that's part of what he does. <laughs> I just I'm sorry. Go watch the video if you don't know what I'm talking about. I uh here's my thing with those two. They're both good players. Obviously, they're good players. I think those two guys are role players on a good team. I don't think those two guys are stars on a good team. And I think last year Rutgers operated as if Cam Spencer and Paul Mulcahy were their stars and it got them to the NIT. And a, I believe a first round loss in the NIT, if I'm remembering correctly, first or second round loss, in the NIT. And look, yeah. 
the Paul McKay, he got the bag. Cam Spencer got the bag. Congratulations. If UConn's really good this year, I don't think Cam Spencer is a top three player on that team. If Paul McKay, he is good for Washington. Washington's not going to be good. Let's just be honest. But if Paul McKay, he's good for Washington. Like again, that, that could happen. He's a good stats, bad team guy to me. And I know he's played roles on decent teams at Rutgers before, but I I think in order for Rutgers to take a step forward, those guys had to leave. And I think it's not a bad thing. Like if this offense is run through Derek Simpson and Gavin Griffiths, I think those guys are infinitely more versatile than Cam Spencer and Paul Mulcahy were. Those guys were one trick ponies. Cam Spencer was really efficient, but you you knew the only way Cam Spencer could score. You couldn't let him go crazy from three. And Paul Mulcahy is a back you down booty ball wing who's just not that good at back you down booty ball. <laughs> so I uh, I am excited for new look Rutgers because I'm curious how this offense looks. And Steve Peichel historically is a very bad offense guy. Like you just go through every team he's ever coached. You can go to your favorite site, Ken Palm, and check the efficiency offensively. It's horrible. It's been bad every single year. So I'm excited to see like, does this year's group look different because they have some more versatile guys that are the faces of this offense. And then more importantly, like look forward a year, man, Derek Simpson, Gavin Griffiths, the two best players in the country. And can I get Cliff back for one more year? Like that. Oh, you, oh I feel like you get Cliff back. I feel like you, get, you do. That team would be insane to me. Yes. They would be nasty. Top top 10 in the country? Rutgers yeah. preseason? Yes. Top five in the country? I had seen the country, but I can make it I can see a world. <laughs> We can see the world. See we're rooting for. Is it fair to say we're rooting for Rutgers? I feel like we're rooting for Rutgers. I feel like we always kind of, at least me personally, you know, I gravitated towards Rutgers. Yeah, there's something about them. It's the rack, rack magic, and Jordan it's good to good to have another Harper in uh, Rutgers red in scarlet. So, all right, uh, let's move on. 